Welcome to the session of prototyping. Prototype is the third phase of UX lifecycle, where first phase is analyze phase, second phase is design phase, third is prototype, and fourth is evaluation. Now, when I say the term prototype, it means to create the blueprint of your project or software. Why do we use prototype? It is a fast and easy way to develop your product at an early stage so that we can show that product to the client in which way we are going to make the final product so that whatever errors are there are reduced at the initial stage because evaluation at the end will be more difficult and more costly to make up. Now when I consider about depth and breadth of prototype, there are two important parameters which we need to consider. First, how much features we have to add. Second, how much functionalities do we have to add in the prototype. These two parameters help us in designing the way we want to make up the system. Now, depending on that, there are four ways of describing the depth and breadth of prototype. First is horizontal, second is vertical, third is local and fourth one is T. Let us consider one by one. First is called as horizontal prototype, where we have more of features but less of functionalities. That means there will be more UIs being made but not the internal working of the UI. Now, when should we consider horizontal prototype? Whenever we start a project, at the initial phase, it is good to work with horizontal prototype because it is an effective way in demonstrating the concept to the managers, to the clients or to the customers. It does not support a workflow as there is less functionality. Horizontal prototype also helps us to know about how much functionalities we need to consider while designing the final product. If you see over here, this is horizontal prototype where we have more features and less of functionalities. Let us consider a second prototype that is vertical prototype. Now when I say the term vertical, it means that it has more of features, more of functionalities but less of features. Now when should I use vertical prototype? Whenever I want to show the complete working of a specific module to the client, I can work with my vertical prototype. It does not show complete features but less features which is fully functional. Like for example, here if suppose you want to show the study of new design to check out part of the workflow for an e-commerce website. Now when I am considering e-commerce website, I can show one particular module working with fully functional that becomes my vertical prototype. As we see over here in the diagram, this part is called vertical where we have more of functionalities but less of features. Next we come to the third one that is T prototype. Now when I say T, it is combination of horizontal and vertical. Maximum products which are made in the market is works on uh, your T prototype. Now what is the advantage? It has features and functionalities both in a good way. Now here this is called as your T prototype horizontal as well as vertical. Next we come to local prototype. Local prototype if we consider this is a small area which is intersection of horizontal and vertical. Now when should we consider local prototype? Local prototype is independent from the other prototypes and has short lifespan. Local prototype is used when there is some design issues which we need to resolve for completing the project. For example, if we are confused in which icon to select, we can make more than one local prototype to see which one suits best and then finally select one. Local prototype can further be grown into horizontal, vertical or T prototype. Here in the diagram, if you can see, the intersection part is called as your local prototype. Here there are examples where we can consider local prototypes when we want to see appearance of a ranking, wordings of a message, some kind of behavior of the functions over here. In this video, we have seen the four ways of considering the depth and breadth of prototype which we can use while starting to make the blueprint of the project. Thank you.